Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the next video in this series about how to build a website with Python. What makes Django such a powerful tool for building a website with Python is its templates, and specifically template inheritance. Now, template inheritance lets you define a kind of like a skeleton in a sense that other child HTML pages can inherit from. So what this accomplishes is reducing the amount of code that you're going to have copied and pasted from one HTML file to another. You're essentially eliminating the need to define a header in each of your HTML files, for example. So we're going to explore the power of templates and template inheritance in Django in this tutorial and a couple other tricks with templates in Django. So let's get right into it. As always, make sure you're in your Python virtual environment and in your ship log directory. And if you remember from last time in our event capture application, we created a single template, index.html. Now, if we wanted to make a second page in our website, we could copy index.html, paste it into a new file with a new name, and change a couple of things about it. But like I just said, that would cause a lot of code, specifically everything from the head tag up here to be pasted into another file. And then we're just going to change stuff in the body. That's not good software practice. Django lets us define a base skeleton and just change the content of the body in each page. Essentially, it's a little bit more powerful than that, but for this case, we're just going to change the body from one page to the next. So let's do that. Instead of having this file be, call, be called index.html, let's change the name of it from index.html to base.html. Now let's go into base.html and remove everything that's specific, or keep everything that's common to multiple pages and remove everything that was specific to index.html. So that's going to be these six lines here. So let's get rid of those and replace those with Django tags. They're going to be called block content and end block. Now, anything that extends from this base.html file and defines its own block content and end block will show up in the body here. So if that doesn't make sense, just hang on for a minute. We'll demo it for you right now. So go ahead and save this file and make a new file and it's going to be called index.html and we will first of all extend from base.html okay now we will define the block content and our end block. Now let's just quickly save this file, come back in so we get the syntax highlighting and coloring. And you should still have on your clipboard the content from the old index.html file between the body tags. So go ahead and paste that in between the block content. And let's just clean this up a bit. Excellent. So let's just go over this just so we understand the concept here. In our base.html file, we have pretty much code that is going to be shared between multiple pages in our website. That is going to be this header up here and the body tag, the closed body tag, and the whole outer outermost HTML tag. Anything that extends from base.html and defines its own block content end block will show up in that page. So when we render this page called index.html, we're going to get everything from the header of base.html and below that from the end of the body to the end of the HTML tag. And anything that is between block content here and end block will show up in the body. So to make sure that actually works, let's go and start up our server. And you're not going to see much difference from before, but as long as this renders correctly, you'll know that it's working. So go ahead, localhost, colon 8000, 
and we see our same submarine buoy two buttons that we saw at the end of the last video. So, so far so good. Go ahead and stop your server and what we're going to do next is make a actual second page. So we're going to call this page event.html and just for the sake of simplicity go ahead and copy index.html and make a new page called event.html. Open up event.html and we're going to do the same exact thing obviously. Extend the base.html, define our block content and we're just going to change a couple things in here. So instead of having submarine and booby here we're going to have deploy and recover. Now if you remember the whole point of this website is to have an interface where users can click on different artifacts that people working on a ship can record their deployments and their recoveries. So on the first page we have a couple different artifacts that can be deployed and recovered and on the second page we have the actual events of deploying and recovering. So go ahead and save this file and now that we added a new page to our website we have to tell Django that we did that. So go into your urls.py file and add a new path to our website called event and when the user navigates to our website slash event they're gonna or we are gonna execute the code that is in our views file and in our event definition and we're gonna just give it a name of event. Now like I was just saying in our views we will copy our index function and replace or we will copy it and paste it and make a new one a new function here called event and when we make that request we're going to return a response with while, where we render event.html so go back into your root and start up your server and now if we refresh this page everything should look the same and if the user goes to slash event we see our deploy and recover buttons. So let's just recap here what we accomplished in this tutorial video. In our event capture templates directory, we now have two pages in our website. One is event.html and one is index.html. They both inherit from our base.html. This is the parent, these two are the child, the children. If we look at base.html, it has our common code among the child pages, which is everything up here in the header and more, and everything down below the body. Anything that's defined within block content in the child pages will render as part of the base.html. So I hope that makes sense for you guys, and you can understand the power of Django templates we will continue this and a couple other things in the next tutorial video. Please stick around and give me a thumbs up if you like what I got and any suggestions that you got going forward, I truly appreciate.